In this video, I'm going to be taking you through how to install a Samurai Wallet Dojo onto your Nodebox. Um, so just make sure that you're logged in to your Nodebox via SSH. And you'll notice that uh, Samurai Wallet has actually been seized by the feds. Uh, but thankfully, there is a fork called Ashigaru that has just come out. So we'll be installing that. Um, so we'll go over to the docs, which, by the way, are excellent um, to take you through how to install a wallet server. So here is the overview here. You can have a read through. Um, and these will be the requirements. You need um, a computer uh, with 8 gigs of RAM, 2 terabytes of SSD space, and you'll need Ubuntu 24.04, which is the recommended software. And here are some of the uh, rec recommendations on hardware. And I prefer the Dell Optiplex, which is what we are running here. We'll move over to installing the dependencies. Um, so first ensure that you're in your home directory. So that's where I'm at here in my note box. Um, and we'll do the update, sudo apt update, put in my password. Okay, and then we'll install these dependencies. So we'll copy that and paste that in. Perfect. And then install this. Already installed. Now we need to install Docker. I've already done this on a previous video, but I'll do it again. So sudo apt up, get update, paste that in. Copy this. Paste it in. Copy this, paste it in, copy this, paste it in, copy this, paste it in, and we will copy all of this and paste that in and sudo apt get update. and install those Docker components here. And paste. And that's already been installed on my machine. So the next thing is to copy this and make sure that the user is in the Docker group. So that's what that is. And what you'll need to do here is just exit out of uh, this terminal and log back in. Um, and so that way uh, it takes this into account. Moving on, create a segregated user. Now, this is an optional step. I'm not gonna do this. Um, I've already got a username and it's Satoshi and I'm gonna be using that. So I'm not really um, going to be uh, following these, but they are optional if you'd like to do so. We'll go to download and verify Dojo. So let's download it. Um, I'll copy this. And in fact, I might just CD over to my downloads folder and do it in there. So. Uh, Paste that in like so. Okay, that's been imported, the key. I'll copy this and grab the actual zip file. And I'll copy this one. Get the fingerprints. And we'll copy this and just make sure that we get a good signature. So we'll see here, this is a good signature and that is a successful result here. Okay, perfect. Uh, we'll get the SHA-256 checksum going. Um, so this is the output here and we need to compare that against the fingerprints. And so if you look at this, and this, they are the same, so that's good. So you can see that that's uh, successfully done. Now we're gonna unzip this. So let's copy this and paste that in. So that's now unzipped. And I'm going to make a Dojo app directory in my home folder. So that's what that's doing there. Okay. And I'm gonna move 
all of that that I just downloaded. Um, actually, that'll be in my downloads folder, so that's probably not the best way to do it. But I'm going to move uh, the Samurai Dojo, all of that, into Home Dojo app, like so. And yeah, so we, we don't need that tilde. And then remove all the files that are no longer required. That's optional. I'm going to keep them. Okay. So if I CD back into my home folder, I should see a Dojo app. Uh, and if I CD into that Dojo app and list that out, uh, I can see all of the information there that I need. Fantastic. So let's configure this Dojo. Now we need to navigate over to this here. So let's copy this and paste that in. And when we list that out, we've got a whole bunch of these TPL files. Um, I'm just going to clear that just so that it's up on the top here. And you'll see, yeah, we've got all of these TPL files and we need to uh, edit these now. Um, I like nano, so we'll just nano docker uh, the bitcoin d uh, conf.tpl. Now we will start to edit these um, based upon the information that I have already used previously in my videos. So the RPC user is Bitcoin. Uh, the RPC password is also Bitcoin. Now, if in your um, RPC password Bitcoin file, uh, you've got something that has or that is not alphanumeric, you will need to change it. Uh, this can only be alphanumeric for this to work. So change your Bitcoin comp file to make sure that it is a password that doesn't have a special character in it. Okay. Uh, we'll just keep scrolling down here. To see if there's anything here. Okay, so this one here, uh, for this particular install, I'm going to be doing Bitcoin D uh, installed off because I've already installed Bitcoin on my computer. I don't want this to be uh, installing Bitcoin D again and taking up, you know, 700 gigs. So I'm going to take that off. And the IP that I'm going to be using is... Um, 172.17.0.1, uh, like that. And I'll show you in just a second where I got that from. Now I'm going to open up a new terminal. And I'm going to log into my node box again. Um, just so that we can edit this. So, for example, if I go IPA and I look at my Docker 0, uh, that's in here. That's the IP address that I'm going to use up here. So that's what I want. Now the Bitcoin D RPC port that I'm using is 8332. Uh, the ZMQ is 28333. And the block hash is 28. 334. And where did I get that? I got it from my Bitcoin conf file. So if I CD into here, it's contained within my bitcoin.conf file. And if I just cat that out, just to show you, you'll see that um, I've got these ports marrying up to these ports here. And there's the RPC port there as well. Okay. Now just going down that should be it for this. So I'm going to save this. Control X, Y, and Enter. Um, now we need to open up the uh, MySQL configuration. So nano docker MySQL comp. Uh, now with these passwords, uh, there's some documentation here that says that it should be alphanumeric um, and 40 characters long for security. So let's follow that. So going back down, um, we'll need to paste in some credentials here. So for each of them, we will use our password manager. So I'm going to do that. Um, go into the generator, 
uh, password and no special characters. And uh, I'm going to use a length of 40 here. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste this in. Like so. User, I'm just going to leave that as samurai. And then the password I am going to change as well and generate a new uh, password there. And that should be it for that. So control Y. Uh, control X, Y, and enter to save that. Next is the indexer. So nano docker indexer. For me, I'm going to have off there. And then this one here, I'm going to set to Ulcrum. Even though that we're on an Electrum server. Um, or or the, rather the Electrum Rust server. And again, that IP address that I mentioned at 172.17.0.1. And the port is uh, 5001, which is correct. And TCP as well. And I am using an external indexer, so I'm going to turn that on. And the in indexer external IP is going to be 172.17.0.1, which um, again, you can see from my Docker zero, that's the IP address there. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be using. And it will call out to my Electrum server. Scrolling down. And we'll just leave those as default. So control X, Y, and enter to save. Next, we need to uh, node.conf, um, so nano docker node. And these are some alphanumeric keys that we will also need to uh, use. So, or to generate rather. Um, so we will go to our password manager again, hit the generator, copy this and replace that with that and we will continue on now that admin key it's this one that you'll need for your um, dojo maintenance tool so generator I will paste that in like so so I'll keep a note of this one as well on a text file to the side and we'll go down uh, we'll keep that one blank, and we've also got to generate a key with this. So let's go to our password manager, copy, and paste that one in like so. And this one here, we were going to change to local indexer. And that's economical, that's fine. Um, and so, yep, that should be it in terms of this uh, configuration file. So control X, Y, and enter to save that one. Okay. Next one. Uh, well, that, that looks to be it. Um, so let's have a look at some other ones here. Um, everything else I think is this, I'm just going to go into nano, uh, Docker Explorer. Uh, I'm going to turn that off. Uh, control Y and enter. And nano docker common. Uh, this should be on mainnet, so that's fine. And nano docker tor. Uh, we'll just leave that as is. Uh, no need for any um, configuration edits there. So that should do it. Um, now it just becomes time to install it. Let's just check that Docker's working. I like to run Docker PS, which it is, and I've got my mempool.space um, installed as well. Uh, and we'll navigate over to this folder here. So there we are. And we will type in, and in there, there's this dojo sh. So we will install from here. So let's see how we go here uh, and hit enter. And do you wish to in continue to install Dojo version 1.26? Why 
and enter. So that's going to take uh, a couple of minutes to download and install. So I'll be back with you when that happens. Okay, so that has uh, installed and you can see that the uh, block headers are now populating. So that's good. I'm just going to go into this second terminal here and go into the Dojo app uh, and then go into Docker, CD Docker, and then my Dojo. And what I'm going to do is monitor the syncing status here. So um, what we'll do is we will uh, get the onion address for this. So um, dot slash dojo dot sh onion, like so. And it will, this is your maintenance tool address. So we'll need to open up a Tor browser and navigate over to this address. Paste that in and then slash admin. Okay, so the Dojo maintenance tool is firing up and it's asking for that admin key that we um, populated during the setup. So I'm going to paste that in. So I'm going to copy that admin key and paste it in. Hit connect. And it will say successfully connected to your back end. And you'll see here that we've got some greens, but what we want as per the documentation is all of these to be green, hopefully. So we're still waiting on the tracker. And so you can see that this kind of marries up with what's going on over here. So we'll just wait until uh, this is actually complete um, before we uh, hook up our phone to this dojo. Okay, so that has now finished. Um, synchronizing and it's all green in terms of the ticks there. Now you can go over to the pairing tab and when you're prompted to scan this code to connect and pair your wallet to your dojo, uh, you just scan this code here and you should be connected to your own dojo. The other thing worth noting is that uh, Ashigaru doesn't have a Whirlpool service um, and we're not sure how that's going to work or if it is at all. Um, so there's been no details around Whirlpool. Um, so I'm hoping that there will be, uh, but I can't really configure anything at this point um, because it doesn't exist. And the existing Whirlpool has been shut down by the feds. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, head on over to ministryofnodes.com.au and click on the support button. If you'd like to have one-on-one -on -one consulting, click on the consulting button and book a session on the calendar widget. And if you'd like to purchase a Bitcoin node, head on over to the shop and purchase one from shop.ministryofnodes.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.